This video is in response to a comment left on my review for the XP Pen RT16 second generation. So someone said that as I change the angle of how I hold the pen, the cursor would actually stray away from the pen tip. In this video, I will talk more about cursor tracking, cursor offset, misalignment or parallax if any. The first thing to know is this pen cannot be held too low due to the design. If you hold the pen too low, this part here will actually touch the drawing surface and you will not be able to draw anything. The lowest angle you can use the pen is around 35 degrees. I typically use my pen at 40 to 45 degrees. So at 35 to 40 degrees is where you can use the tilt sensitivity of the brush. The cursor offset shown in that video review was due to the pen tip not being in contact with the drawing surface. So now I'm going to keep the pen tip in contact with the drawing surface at all times. You can see a slight gap there and that's due to my camera pointing at the pen from the side. From where I'm seated, I cannot see any gap. Okay, so now the pen is at the lowest angle. I'm going to try my best to keep the crosshair at the intersection. So the pen is at the lowest angle, which is around 35 degrees. And now the pen is about 45 degrees. And the pen is now almost vertical, 90 degrees. Are you able to see any cursor offset? Do you see the cursor moving away from the pen tip as I change the angle of the pen? And now my camera is pointing from another angle, a much lower angle. The display is laminated, but again here you can see the gap between the cursor and the pen tip only because of the camera position. So let's move the pen from 35 degrees to 45 degrees to 90 degrees to the opposite direction. So as the angle of the pen becomes lower, I can kind of see the cursor stray one to two pixels away, but it's difficult for me to see this unless my eye is just beside the pen tip. And cursor tracking is very accurate right up to the edge of the display. Again, now I have the pen tip in contact with the drawing surface at all times. If the pen has problem with cursor offset, it will be difficult to draw lines and connect them together without misalignment or gaps. So here I can actually connect all these lines together without misalignment or gaps. When a pen has problems with cursor offset, things like this will happen. This by the way is a very exaggerated example. It's going to be difficult to join the lines together. Often you will see gaps and it's very easy to overshoot the lines and this will need correction. So we have to go back and erase it. So while drawing this, I did not have any issues with cursor tracking or cursor offset. I did not have to go back and erase the lines that overextend because there aren't many lines that overextend. Oh, there are some lines here that overextend. See this part here and here. This is due to me drawing way too fast and way too carelessly. So if you draw at normal speed, the lines will go where you want them to go. And I certainly do not have any issues with not being able to close up the gaps. Nope, uh, no issues with lines overextending. This pen is quite accurate. I don't have any problems when it comes to drawing with it. So to watch the full review of the XP Pen Artist 16 second generation, visit the link that I have for you in the video description below.